So I'm driving around and I'm going from one place to the next place. I see a park that says trails and that's a dead road. We gotta stop and we need to explore. <laughs> So this is gonna be one of those on the fly, exploring kind of day videos, so stay tuned. Well, this ought to be fun. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I think you'll enjoy it. So here we are, we're in New Hampshire. I'm out doing things and I see this parking area with a little preservation and trails. And I see this wall going into the woods. It's a dead road, an old road. Gotta pull over, we're gonna do this video on the fly. You and I heading out and we're gonna read the landscape, see what we can find and just enjoy the day. So I sit down this wall and I look right over there. Check this out. It's a little concrete square. Foundation for something, not terribly old, but nevertheless interesting. So what kind of things am I looking for reading the landscape? Well, they're looking at the walls to see if we find any old farms. It'd be very cool to find any cellar holes and just anything of interest. So I'm gonna get on that main trail, start heading down and let's see what it looks like. Well, I'm only a couple hundred feet in. I've just crossed over a couple of old walls. It's a nicely made trail road in here. The walls are still continuing to go further out, but I'm not seeing colonial home site signs just of yet. Boy, it is ice mud season. Very inconsistent. It's frozen in some sections and pie in the other. Well, that's all been pulled out. You can see just looking around that all this ground has been shifted and I'm guessing it's because of the water we're about to cross. This is one of those instances where it's very difficult to tell if this is an ancient road, a colonial road. Uh, it definitely looked like it up the top, but if they fixed, rebuilt all this stuff down here, they could have pulled out. A lot of the stone walls. Nice. It really is a game for me. It's the curiosity, it's the wonder of when I go to places, looking around, thinking about what has happened through, you know, the last, call it 300 years of history for this part of New Hampshire. And fortunately, I like filming it, so let's keep going. So I just got up into the woods here and look at this beautiful old wall. Uh, my gut instincts is telling me to go that way. If I'm hoping to find any old home sites, abandoned home sites. Um, there's a break in the wall here and could be a cart path. I'm gonna follow it. So leaving that wall, I'm going through an area that you can tell was logged many, many years ago. The amount of moss that's on the logs definitely indicates that. So as I cut all the way across, I pop out onto this. This is in fact an old colonial road. So my gut instinct was right. I has basically was sitting on the outside wall of the backside of this farm. And coming in over here, you see this wall? How small it is? It's very low and medium-sized rocks. This is the indication of home site type stuff because this wall would not necessarily have been built for keeping animals into an area or from plowing, but this definitely looks home site quality to me. So let's look around and see if I'm right. It looks like a lift to me. Bingo. That is an extremely old cellar hole. God, right on the edge of this waterway too. 
Yeah, no doubt, 1700s. It's all stone lined. There's no split granite. The camera is actually sitting where the chimney stack would have been. So essentially this is one half of the house. That is the center. Second half would have been over there. Fascinating. So where we walked across by the water and looked over, that means the old road actually goes under the reservoir. See what I'm saying about how things are shifted and changed through the years to the point where big pieces of the puzzle are removed and little bits of it like this remain. Makes me really wonder how far that road goes. Find of the day. So this is a really intriguing spot being that the surrounding land is pretty bad. Makes me wonder if over that way near where the water is was a mill site because it's not painfully obvious of any farming going on out here. There's a lot of water actually, but then again, it may not have been flooded like that even a hundred years ago. I don't know when they put that resin. Wow, that's a beautiful cellar hole and that's a big center chimney stack. But same thing, it's all built of stone. I'm not seeing any brick or anything, so this stuff is old. And look at this. There's your threshold stone going right in. Fireplace right in the center. Some stacked rocks. Could have been a little outbuilding or a barn over here. And then about 20 feet off the back side of where the house sat. There's the well. Looks like it's caved in or it's been filled in. But either way, pretty awesome. So I'm just going to walk a little bit further down just to see what it looks like. Again, this was a quick on the fly decision to stop and do a little exploring. But you can see there's more wall here and it corners off. So there's definitely boundaries set in place. So I went up, I went up a good distance, but as much as I'd love to, I can't spend all day out here. Let's go back to the second cellar hole and wrap it up. So I hope everyone enjoyed this. And you know, one of the taglines that I use for Not Thursday is get out and explore your world. You don't have to travel around the entire planet to see cool, fascinating things. This was literally on my ride home from point B back to point A, and I just took the initiative to stop, pull over, hike 20 minutes out into the woods, and look at the discovery. And it can be pretty much anywhere you live if you happen to be inside of New England like I am. Keep in mind that just about every square inch of land was used at one point in time for something. And all I followed was that trail, saw a wall, used my instincts, went through the woods, and popped over to this side and found two colonial home sites. All right, I gotta go. I will see you all soon. And until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.